Hey guys, Matt McCure from SportsBettingDime.com, your best source for sportsbook reviews and odds on all things sports and entertainment. We're back with some more fantasy football tips for the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. Last week, we put together a pretty good daily fantasy football lineup for Wild Card Weekend, and I'm confident we can do it again this week. But before we do, keep in mind, these are not the top ranked players at each position. Rather, it is the best DFS lineup I can put together. Now, if you want those top ranked players, check out our full positional rankings at sportsbettingdime.com. But let's dive into it now. At quarterback this week, I am starting Case Keenum of the Vikings against the New Orleans Saints. No team gave up more points per game to quarterbacks over the final two weeks of the regular season than New Orleans. Yeah, Keenum was a little quiet the final two weeks of the season, but Minnesota simply did not need him. They were playing Chicago, playing Green Bay. He didn't need to do much. He will need to throw the ball around. Minnesota will need to put up points this week against the Saints. Moving on to running back, I am going with Deion Lewis of the Pats against the Titans. Yeah, Tennessee's been pretty good against running backs this season, but Todd Gurley proved in Week 16 the Titans can be exploited through the air with running backs. Deion Lewis can do those same things, and he's going to see a lot of touches when New England is up big in this game. My other running back this week, I'm going with Latavius Murray of the Vikings against the Saints. Murray has received at least 20 carries in three straight weeks and has a clear role as the short yardage slash goal line back. In a game with shootout potential, Murray is a good bet to find the end zone at least once. Moving on to my three wide receivers this week. Number one, I'm going with Adam Thielen, again, sticking with these Vikings, against the Saints. Thielen may not find the end zone as often as his partner in crime, Stephon Diggs, but he's without a doubt Keenum's favorite target and will likely avoid Marshawn Lattimore, which is big. My second wide receiver, and here's where I start budgeting a little bit. I am going with Nelson Aguilar against the Falcons. Aguilar seems to be the preferred target of Nick Foles, and he has a plus matchup against Brian Poole in the slot this weekend. Now, here's a real budget of wide receiver here. I'm going with D.D. Westbrook of the Jags against the Steelers. Now, I get it. I get the hesitancy to not want to start anyone from that Jags offense after the way Blake Bortles looked last week. But Westbrook is averaging more than seven targets per game this season, and he has been Bortles' most reliable target. They will need a little more from Blake Bortles and his arm. Now here's where I'm spending. Tight end. I'm going with Rob Gronkowski of the Patriots against the Titans. If Travis Kelsey does not get hurt in the first half last weekend, he goes for at least 100 yards and probably adds another touchdown. Gronk is going to carve the Titans defense up the exact same way. He is going to have a huge week. He's worth all the money. Now, my kicker. I'm going with Matt Bryant of the Falcons against the Eagles. Falcons aren't going to find the end zone often against the Eagles' fourth-ranked scoring defense. Bryant will have plenty of opportunities and from distance, too. I like him this week, especially at this price. And finally, last but not least, my defense this week. I am going with the Philadelphia Eagles defense against the Falcons. Falcon offense is going to be dealing with a stingy front and frigid temperatures up there in Philadelphia. This has 17 to 13 game written all over it, adding a couple turnovers. I like the Philadelphia defense. Again, if you are looking for full positional rankings, check out sportsbettingdime.com. Otherwise, thanks for watching, guys. See you next week.